Hi, Stampers. It's Jackie Ballheis from Clump and Stampers. And my sidekick... Dave. <laughs> Dave. Trying to fit in the shot here. <laughs> so I decided it was about time we bring Dave back to do a video with me. About time. I know. Well, you're never home. Well. So he's home. He's back to working at home. So that means he works at home. He works with me. So I drug him down to the basement where I record all my videos. And I said, it's time for us to do a video together. Now, I have no idea where this is going because I, I have an idea in my head what we're doing. I have not really shown it to I him. I don't have a clue. <laughs> and I'm going to just talk him through a project. Now, really what it is, it's kind of like a one-sheet wonder, but it's, it's going to be a real simple one-sheet wonder. But more so, it's just a way to make four really quick birthday cards so that you'll have some birthday cards that you can send out too. Like, yeah, I know. You know, so I don't get like Christmas cards on my birthday. Like the one I made you last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah like that. So what um what I'm going to do is talk him through, and hopefully you'll like this idea, and it's something that you'll be able to use in your own stamping as well, because it really will work with any stamps, any inks, whatever you have. Um, so we're going to use a couple new stamp sets, and let's flip the camera down, and let's get Dave stamping here. Hold on one sec. Okay, so we are gonna start out using the stamp set called Pretty Perennials, which is kind of a mouthful to say. This is a brand new stamp set that just came out in the January mini catalog, but it works perfect for this idea that I have. Um, so we have just a piece of white cardstock here. And what you're gonna do is use several of the images from that stamp set, and we're gonna fill up this whole piece of paper. We're just gonna okay. stamp it full, 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 full. So, we're gonna start with the biggest stamp that you're gonna use, which will be this flower. So you're gonna just ink it up. Like that. Like that. And, and now what? stamp it someplace randomly in the middle. Doesn't matter where, just stamp it. Okay, good. There, that's it. Now, now we got a lot more to do. Oh. So what you're gonna do now is you wanna turn your paper slightly and you're gonna ink do it up again. again and maybe about an inch away from this one. We're gonna build off that one. Perfect. Now we'll turn a little bit more, ink I it I up. I just stuck it on my shirt. <laughs> Good, you'll look nice with flowers on your plaid. There you go. Now you just start stamping like crazy. Just keep doing that? Yep. I can do that. And you want some of them to come off the edge. Like when you come down here, it can come part way off. There you go. Perfect. That gets another sheet all dirty though. That's okay. That's why we have scrap paper down there. This grid paper is perfect for this. There you go. You're doing great. Oh, you got kind of a big space in the middle there. No, I don't. I <laughs> I'd put another one right there. Maybe another one there. <laughs> Am I telling you too much what to do? Look at that. Oh, that's good. How about that quarter? I know, my thumb was on it. <laughs> okay, awesome. I think that's Is good that for now. We can always come back with okay. that one. So that was, it's what nice do we have color. here? Petal, petal pink. See, I knew it was pink, you have I could to tell. Have, <laughs> your, your color is right. Next, we're gonna put leaves on these. So we have soft sea foam. And you're gonna take this leaf. Yeah. Now you're gonna just kind of make. What if it. I leave it here? No. <laughs> just kind of tuck it in there a little bit. Tuck it. You want me to do the first one? No, I want to do it. Okay. How's that? That's perfect. You can go a little bit closer, but well, that'll work. Am it's, I tucking every place? Yeah, you're going like all over this, like. Like all over every flower. Yeah, like at least two or three on each flower. Can I go backwards? I don't care. It doesn't really matter. That's kind of cool. But you can bring it in like a little closer to the flower. There you go. Because our, ooh, you caught an edge there. That's okay. It. We'll cover it up. Okay, I'll be more careful. For oh, now. that one's like perfect. Of course, I did it. Okay, this is going to take a while. So I think we're going to speed up the video while you stamp all of your flowers. So we'll keep going here and see how fast you can do it. Okay, he is almost done with all of these leaves. We'll see if he missed any. <laughs> you sick of the leaves yet? No, I'm liking these leaves. Oh, okay, that's good. It's just like raking up in the fall. <laughs> you didn't even rake this fall. Yeah, it's just like that. I'm not raking here either. <laughs> okay, that's probably enough leaves. <laughs> Little leaf happy, except you forgot one right there. That poor flower doesn't have any leaves. It's a dead flower. <laughs> okay, now what we're gonna do, we still have a lot of white space to take care of. So now we have the smaller flower. What color was that? Oh, this was soft sea foam. Now we have so saffron. Now this one- So saffron, that's awesome. You're gonna just start putting that like in the middle like of- every where, place? Wherever you got white space. I got lots of white space. Look at that. Oh, careful, look at, you're not oh. getting a good image. 
And you are gonna come in with one more color for space. I guess you don't have to come fill in all the white space. And there we go. Now guess what? Those flowers need leaves also. Oh God. <laughs> you want me to help you? No, you got this. No, I can, I can do this. This one you only have to do one on each one because it's a double leaf, so it automatically gets two. Oh really? Okay, yeah. That's gonna save me a lot of time. It, it is. I'm gonna use this first time. Because it's little. But now make sure they go different directions. There you go, turn the paper. See, it's so much easier to turn the paper than trying to turn your wrist every time you're trying to stamp in a different direction. Okay, you are almost there. So that leaf is right on top of the flower. There we go. I think That's good enough. you have them all? Okay, I think I you think have them so. all. Nope, that whole one. No, you found another one? That's all of them. Okay, now this is taking forever. One more flower. You want to see how fast you can do it though? Yeah. Can I do this one? Yeah, you can do that one. That's a lot like what I do. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. Except now I'm not getting a bad image. But see how when you turn your paper? Yeah, but that stamp bounces. It's not like the ones I use. Oh, come on. It's the same. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> We, we should have done sure. this as a race. We should have each had our own piece of paper to do it on. Okay, there we go. Now, one last stamp we'll let you use. We're going to put yellow in the middle of each one of those flowers. Of what, these big fat flowers? Mm-hmm. I can do that. Because that way, it kind of gives it the nice center. Oh, yeah, it does. See? Makes it look like the part the bee wants to eat. <laughs> Plus, it covers up some of the green right. splotches you got. Yeah, doing a good job of that. It's going to be beautiful. I highly recommend a lot of yellow spots in the middle of your flowers. <laughs> Maybe we need to get you the speckle stamp to fill everything in. I need a spray gun to fill everything in. <laughs> so as he's finishing this up, um, I don't know if we said at the beginning or not, this piece is actually eight by ten and a half. So I cut a half inch off of each that's one. It. There you go. Well, yeah, that's pretty good. We could fill in a little bit more white, but we'll call it good. Now, so if it's eight and a half, or what I say, eight by ten and a half, we're gonna go ahead and cut this at five and a quarter. Oh, I should make you do that. Now I'll just cut it. All right, go ahead. I'm gonna let you use the next tool. Yeah, I like the next one. And then we're going to go four inches this way, and we will have four equal pieces that are going to become our card front. Like, See, they're equal when you do it. It's not like when I do it. I know. That's why I thought I would do that. But I am going to let you use the Stamparatus. Have okay. you ever used the Stamparatus? No, but I'm sure it's my favorite toy tool. 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 It's kind of like a power tool of stamping, but it doesn't have power to it. We could add power to it. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, this, because this is photopolymer, which are thin little oh, yeah. stamps. Oh, those are. <laughs> you're going to see little the... rubbery things that stick to the stuff. Correct. Yeah. We need to use a mat in your Stamparatus to raise this up. And you're going to see we're going to use a rubber stamp uh -huh. in a second. And because it's thicker, we'll be able to go all the way down to this. Okay. That'll make sense in a second. So what we're going to do is put this on here. And I have two of the words from our stamp set. Happy birthday. And I put them on here already. Okay, they should be lined up for you. So when we take our cardstock and we put it up here in the corner. Oh, that's easy. You want to make sure it's always nice and tight and square in the corner. And then you're, we're going to ink up happy birthday. And all you got to do is close this, give it some good pressure, and it's going to stamp for you. Okay, I, I believe think, it. I think you can do that. Just don't get too messy with the ink. So you're going to pick up the ink and... I'm going to go like this. Mm-hmm. Stick and it everywhere. Get it inked good. See, now you're seeing how... There, was that good? Yep, you see how wobbly my table is? Yeah. That needs to be fixed. Just an FYI. <laughs> <laughs> give it some good pressure. <laughs> Okay, now lift it up. Hey, that's pressure. <laughs> and, Look at that. hey, that's perfect. I know. Now, we got three more to do. And one of the reasons... Do I we, ink again? You ink again. Okay. Now, one of the reasons we like using the Stamparatus is because if that impression would not have come out really good... I could do it again. Exactly. But when I do it, it always comes out perfect. So yeah, so it doesn't matter. Look at that. Look at that. Boy, Bonk. I think you're hired. What do you think, people? Should we hire Dave to make yeah, all of my... Uh, how about if you make all the customer thank you cards that we send out every month to all our oh, customers that place idea. orders? I think we're going to hire you to do that. Hey, look how dirty I got over there. Oh, I know. Now you're going to have to clean it. That's 
Look at that. They're all looking oh, alike. Oh, 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 now look at, see, we're a little picky. See, that didn't stamp real oh, good there. So you're gonna, do this again. you gotta do that one again. So I gotta ink more? Yep, ink it up make again. Make my lye really good now? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't get my lye right. <laughs> this also works really good, like if you're stamping on colored cardstock, cause you don't get as crisp of an image as you do on the nice white. So then you can stamp it multiple times to get it. Oh, look, at that. look at that. Look at how good that was. What looks. a recovery. And then one more. We're gonna ink this bad boy a lot and not screw up again. So if you're gonna have a big job washing this thing. Oh you no, want. you're cleaning up your own mess. You don't come down here and clean up after me. Why should I clean up after you? Hmm. <laughs> Look at that. There you go. Four yep. identical cards. Okay, so next and we need mess. our adhesive. Forgot one more thing. Before we move on to the next, we're gonna stamp the insides of our cards. So what's oh. nice about this is you can remove these plates. The dirty ones. The dirty one that you can take yep. to the sink and clean. And I already have another one lined up. Yeah, I like these clean ones. Yeah, and you know what? I put it that way, so we're gonna go like so. So it's all set, but now this, because it's the rubber, it's thicker, so we can get rid of this pad now. Yep, because when we put, out of here. Yep, so then I have for the insides here, four pieces, and we're gonna use, oh, we gotta go that direction. <laughs> And you're gonna do the same, same thing. Same little stamp thing, mm -hmm. inking thing. So, so. Make sure I ink this one good. I'm gonna get them all right this time. You know what, hold on one second. I should show you another little trick. Because this is at such an angle, sometimes it's a little easier to put a stamp oh, case underneath. Look at that. And it inks a little bit better. That is awesome. You got black ink on your fingers. I got black ink <laughs> every place. <laughs> you got black ink on our stack here. How's that? That's good. Okay, we are going to do those later now that we showed them how to do it. Or we could be here forever. And I know you have a house cleaning to go do for me, right? Right, <laughs> that's what I do best. Okay, so I just have some card bases here that we're gonna glue these fronts on. Now, you've done videos before with oh, me. Oh, I know how to glue stuff. Okay, so here's the glue. Okay. Do you understand what that's all about well, it's at all? stuck in a jar. <laughs> so this is one of my downline did this for me. She took a, a candle holder and put hot glue down in there and glued the top. So this way the glue's always upside down. Wow, okay. just like a ketchup bottle in the fridge. Correct. That's awesome. See, you can relate when we talk food. And then all we need to do is put a little. I know, put a lot. I like a lot of that No, stuff. we do a little adhesive and we put it on there, and then we can go on the inside with this piece. And then once you put all four of these together, you are going to have four birthday cards that you can send to all your favorite. I'll probably send one to myself because I never get any. <laughs> oh, come on now. There we go. So there you go. That is our tip of the day for making four quick birthday cards. That's easy enough for me to do. See, I told you That's it was easy awesome. enough that you could do. So I hope you guys like this and I hope you enjoyed watching Dave's stamp today. Um, again, this is a great idea that you can use with any stamps. Um, just grab yourself a full size piece of white, cut off a half inch from each side just so when once you cut it down, it fits as a layer on here. Fill up that cardstock really nicely, cut it and you're off. You're done, you're good. That's awesome. So, so thanks for watching us today. Can I say the ending? You can say the ending. And Go have ahead. a stamp happy day. <laughs>